Sometimes you have to disconnect completely from your routine only to realize how much you miss it and then reconnect to it from a place of self-love. While traveling through Europe for five weeks was so fun and helped me strengthen my food freedom and my ability to stay flexible, being gone for so long also pushed me way outside my comfort zone and taught me that I thrive when I'm connected to my self-care habits. So after coming back home to New York, it was time to lace up my shoes and get back into it. It was time to find my way back to eating home-cooked food, working out consistently and regulating my sleep, but also, like any fresh start, it was the perfect opportunity to reconnect to other habits I had let go of like meditation and journaling. So come along with me through a week in my life, getting back into healthy habits and a consistent routine that helps me feel like my best self. back to my channel i hope you're doing amazing so excited for today's video because we're going to be getting back into a routine together i am going to be reintroducing some healthy habits into my life and i literally couldn't be more excited because showing up for myself for my body for my healthy habits just makes me feel like my best self it's the beginning of the year so i know it's a time where a lot of people are thinking about this so hopefully this will inspire you to join me i have been really off of routine for a while i was gone for five weeks i was in europe brazil then back to europe and then now i'm finally back to new york i got back in the middle of last week and today's monday in between getting back and today i actually got kind of sick i had a cold i felt really really tired i was really like congested i was back to my home and my body was like okay it's time for you to actually rest and recover from these travels so that's what i did basically all of last week finally i'm feeling better after resting a lot i literally slept for 10 hours yesterday which felt so good i'm gonna take you guys through the things that i'm implementing out i've missed it so much eating nourishing meals and also i really want to add back in the habit of meditation and journaling which i've been disconnected from for even longer than five weeks it's gonna bring you guys along there's a lot of other habits i also want to implement but they're more like micro habits so finally back to like a normal work schedule with like coaching calls and editing work and i'm excited i'm excited so let's get into it i'm about to go to the gym with pedro we're gonna get the day going back from the gym I'm so proud of myself and now i'm gonna make myself a yogurt bowl because i have a call in 30 minutes yogurt bowls are just like the fastest option let's go fresh yogurt so good you guys know what time it is it's time for a taste test first bite Mm. So good. I missed everything about this. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm also so happy that I ended up working out because it felt really, really good and I'm proud of myself for showing up. I ended up doing 30 minutes on the treadmill and then I did 35 minutes of a full body workout from the form app. I almost didn't do the full body workout because I was worried about overdoing it with movement after being sick, but I'm actually very happy that I did it because it felt amazing. They have this January jumpstart program, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next two weeks just to give myself some structure as I'm adding in working out back into my routine and speaking of being sick and just feeling better finally today's sponsor literally couldn't be more aligned i am so excited to be working with beekeepers naturals they are an awesome brand i have loved their products for so many years now and i have been using this handy dandy little propolis throat spray essentially every single day since coming back from traveling and i love it so basically it's this little spray here and it has propolis as the main ingredient but then it also has other vitamins and minerals like vitamin b vitamin c and d and it also has zinc which 
is super amazing for your immunity. And if you're not familiar with propolis, basically it's essentially like the bodyguard of the beehive and it's what bees use to line the walls of their beehives. And so Beekeepers Naturals uses propolis in essentially all of their products as the main ingredient. You just take this and you spray it four times on your throat and you can do it as many times a day as you need it. It's super, super helpful if you have kind of like a dry throat or a cough, but because of all the vitamins, minerals, and ingredients that this has, you can basically use it every single day as like an immune boost for your body. And as someone who is like really mindful of ingredient quality and the products that I choose to use, I love Beekeepers Naturals because it's made with fully clean ingredients, doesn't have any artificial colors or preservatives, and it's also third party tested to make sure that they don't have any pesticides. So I love this. You can find it in a bunch of different places. I also ended up going to the supermarket when I was feeling under the weather and I picked up these two here that have just been so helpful basically this is a little sinus support seasonal nasal care supplement so i've been taking this because i was having a lot of nasal congestion and then i also picked up these vitamin c liposomal packets which i took one this morning as you guys saw as well so thank you so much to beekeepers naturals for sponsoring today's video take care of your immune system everyone especially right now that it's colder and it's winter and there will be more information on their products and where you can find them in the description as well with that said i'm gonna go jump into my coaching call and i'll catch you guys later when i'm having lunch and implementing some more daily habits rare beauty sent me their new perfume from the find comfort collection and it's so good it's kind of sweet also kind of floral and it just Place. Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum, the Kopari Niacinamide and Caffeine Eye Cream, and the Alita Skin Food, which is the most hydrating cream ever. Skin Food, and I just dot it all over and spread it. I'm probably gonna go kind of light on makeup today. Using my refined brow gel, which I always use. Just a little hydrated winter look. We're good to go. All right, so I had a coaching call and then I had a birth chart reading and both went super well. Also, Pidger and I are gonna make some green juice right now. We just got back from the grocery store and picked up the things that we're missing. So let's go make some green juice, babe. Green juice, let's go make some green juice. We're gonna use an orange. For now, just one apple. Lemon, some mint, ginger, a cucumber, and one and a half packs of spinach. Mm, mm, mm. And voila! Here's our final result. Let's put this to the test and try it out. Taste test time! <laughs> it's so good. It's very gingery. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's really good. Right? It's very refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, you got that like good. little ginger aftertaste where it kind of burns your throat a little bit in a good way. So it feels very healthy. Mm. Juice was a success. I'm gonna pour myself a little glass of the juice now and I'm gonna go do some journaling. I'm gonna do a little bit of intention setting for 2024 and then I'm gonna make my vision board. Okay, you guys, it's time for some 2024 intention setting. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I mentioned earlier in the video that one of my goals for 2024 is to get back into journaling and into meditation as well, which are two habits that I think help me feel really, really good and I have kind of fallen off of doing them consistently. For this little journaling session, I already started yesterday and then I'm just going to continue today. I did a proper reflection of 2023 first. So I took every month of the year, I wrote out what happened, 
happened, what I learned, what was a challenge of that month. And it really puts you in this abundant state because you realize so many things happen. And I'm very grateful for everything that happened in 2023, challenges and wins alike. That was really powerful. And then the second thing that I did yesterday was I wrote out my 2024 ins and outs list and my focus for 2024. In your ins list, you put the things that you want to focus on or add to your life in 2024 and just make a priority versus the outs list is things that you're ready to let go of and that you no longer really want to keep in your life. Let me know in the comments what your ins and outs lists are. Pause for juice. Next up is my focus for 2024, which is power plus love equals peace. Focus on empowering yourself. Focus on working to feel your best, controlling what you can, not worrying about the things you can't control. In situations where you have the power, whether it's like your own self-empowerment or you're like a decision maker in a situation, tap into making decisions that are the most loving towards yourself, the most loving towards other people, the most compassionate towards other people. Really take into account this energy of coming from your heart. And when you do that, you can be at peace because you're doing the best you can with your power. And I love my focus for this year power plus love equals peace for my intentions and goals i did a little journaling exercise at the end of 2023 where i wrote a journal entry as a letter from my 2024 december self to my 2024 january self telling carolina everything that happened in 2024 and so i'm going to quickly look over that journal entry and bullet point like high level things that I wrote in that entry. And then I'm gonna make it into a vision board by pulling pictures from Pinterest and making a little collage on Canva. I'm gonna play some music on Spotify and I'm gonna vibe out. made his dinner while I was making my vision board like the king that he is show me what you made rosemary baked chicken white rice wow here's the finished product truly chef behavior I taught him well chef's kiss It's day two of getting back into a routine and it is so snowy today. It's the first time, I think in 700 days, that snow has kind of like stuck in New York. Cause like there have been flurries and the snow hasn't stayed, but like everything looks white outside my window and it's so pretty. I'm so happy. It's like the coziest vibe. It's 8.30, I'm gonna go to the gym. I have a call at 10, so I have to be in and out. I was like almost delaying my meditation, which I didn't do yesterday, sadly. But I was like, you know what? No, it's five minutes or even three minutes if I want. I'm gonna show up for it. So I'm gonna get my headphones. I'm gonna meditate here in the living room and then I'm gonna go to the gym. I downloaded this new app called Balance and basically it's an app that allows you to personalize your meditations and put your goals, what you want to get out of meditation and how familiar you are with meditation and then they kind of like personalize meditations for you and they track your streaks. And the cool thing is that they are really like committed to making meditation more accessible for people so they give people a free year of the app first. and. It's awesome. So I am going to do my meditation for the day. They have a bunch of different ones I'm realizing, but this is what I'm gonna do. They have like a little foundations plan. Start and then you can put how long you wanna do it for. I'm gonna do it for three minutes today just because I'm kind of like feeling stressed out with my timing this morning. I'm doing three minutes, it just gives you like a full plan. Today I'm gonna do the second one. So benefits of breath focus. They have these nine skills and as you progress you unlock them. lovely 
quick and effective. Now I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. It's the perfect day for some cozy oats. It's gonna be super quick, delicious, and nutritious. And I have to hop on my coaching call. I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of some green juice. Cause juice in the fridge, it only lasts like two days max, I think. So fresh. I love the mint and I love the ginger. Also so good for boosting your immune system and just like supporting your overall well-being in the winter time. I'm also gonna make myself a matcha. Bruh. Dropped my frother machine in my ear <laughs> and it hurts so bad. I need some frozen peas to like aid myself. Slow down. My reminder, stop trying to multitask everything. I hear you universe, I see you. So I need to do three things at once. Just do one at a time. So, three fourths cup of water. Half a cup, and I'm gonna do half of this cup. It's already kind of boiling, but I'm gonna just heat it up a little more. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this to you guys before, but I'm really trying to lean into eating in alignment with the seasons. And so one way that looks like for me is trying to eat more warm foods and drinks in the winter. You guys know I love my iced coffee, I love my iced matcha, but I'm trying my best to stick to warm drinks in the winter. So this is how I've been making my warm matcha and it's been working pretty well. I just take my frother, I got this from Amazon. I can link it in the description. I've been using this ceremonial grade matcha from Blue Bottle. So around a teaspoon of the matcha kind of like that much put it in there a little more and what I was doing before that wasn't working was I was just using milk it was tasting too milky now if I cover it with water like that much and then I use my attached pistachio milk unsweetened original and because it's frothed I don't need to put too much I'll say I'm warm there we go the water for the oat starting to boil one third cup of oats simmer and I just keep stirring for a little bit and when there's still just like a little bit left of the water that's when I put in my protein powder using the vanilla protein from be well by Kelly half of a scoop and mix it in for some natural sweetness I'm gonna use half of a banana I'm also gonna put in some cinnamon which is such a great spice the blood sugar balance love it cinnamon over here raspberries that I have. This is another product from Beekeepers Naturals that I really like. Also, bee pollen, so I'm gonna put just a little bit. This is the French squirrel peanut butter. Like a tablespoon like that. It's kind of small, but it's the perfect quantity, honestly. All right, and we have breakfast ready to go. The oats turned out so good. I'm like quickly eating before my call. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hello, hello. All right, my loves, I'm done with my calls for the day. It's been such a good day. Now it's time to make lunch, it's 2 p.m. So I'm gonna make some air fried salmon and then I'm just gonna have the leftover Brussels sprout the Pedro made and the rice he made yesterday. And then I'm also gonna heat up some cabbage that I had from two days ago. Just using those leftovers. I'm so hungry and excited to eat. I defrosted sockeye salmon from Whole Foods. Marinate this, take these sleeves off. A Little bit of olive oil spray. Some coconut aminos. Garlic powder, paprika, drizzle of honey, soak it up in this marinade. <laughs> Leftover cabbage and Brussels sprouts, white rice. I'm excited.
phenomenal. Arugula with lemon and olive oil. Roasted squash, crispy cauliflower from the air fryer. Look at that perfection. Turkey meatballs as well. And a hummus lemon dressing on top. Yummy! Nothing like some home cooked healthy food. I'm so excited to eat. I don't have any calls today until 1.30, so I'm taking it a little bit easier this morning. I did a cleanup of the house, and then I was just doing a couple of emails, which normally I don't really love doing first thing in the morning, but I just had to do them. And now I'm going to do my five minute meditation and then a little bit of journaling. Day three, baby. I'm setting my timer today for five. Meditation can shield your brain from stress. In meditation, I find that it's great to learn multiple ways to practice the same skill. Let's get settled. Okay, that felt absolutely fantastic. Also, my disco ball is shining all over my office. And it's a vibe right now. I'm building a little streak, so it's kind of cool because I'm on day three of my streak. And then with the workouts, I'm also on day three of the program today. So that's exciting. So I'm going to do a little journal. I was watching this video the other day that actually my best friend Gabby told me to watch about stoicism and seven morning habits that stoics advocate for. And in the video, one of the things that they were talking about is journaling and meditation, how both are really great things to do in the morning. And they recommended some things to journal about doing a mental declutter so just writing out any lingering thoughts from the day before kind of like a mini mind dump sometimes when i do mind dumps i kind of go overboard with it so i'm going to try to do just like a very small one and then three gratitudes and he recommends some self-reflection so like reflecting either on a stoic principle or asking yourself kind of like a question like am i living in alignment with my values how did i act out of impulse yesterday instead of out of reason in a way of like growing from it not judging yourself and then the last thing is setting an intention compared to goals which are future oriented and get you focused only on results intentions are about creating a moral compass for yourself it will guide your decisions for the day and it's about measuring your success by how you choose to exist and respond in the world so i'm gonna do that today i'm trying to do it under 10 minutes This outfit is even mom energy and I love it. guys that was one of the hardest workouts i have done in a really long time like i am literally shaking right now and i think it was just like the combination of walking on the incline for like 40 minutes and doing that workout it's just like i am tired and i'm ready to eat and like replenish my body because i definitely need it i'm kind of in the mood for like something a little heartier so pedro went out to buy us some fresh bread and i'm planning on doing like a avocado toast situation with egg because i feel like i'm just needing that protein in my body and just like fuel to get me through my day i have lots of editing to do so that's the plan i was gonna take a shower first but he didn't take the keys so i need to be ready for him to ask me to open the door and there he is. <laughs> Thank you. This house bread from the bakery near our house is so fantastic. Voila. The first slice always makes such a mess. product so yummy and nourishing 
I'm very excited to try this out. Here is breakfast. House bread with avocado, lemon, everything but the bagel seasoning, and then two eggs and a fourth cup of egg whites with pesto. So yummy, so yummy. <laughs> Let me try the toast first. Much better. Like having the first bite in the middle of the bread. Mmm, very lemony. That's good. New York, what is this? I haven't had pesto eggs in a while, so I'll try this out. It's good. Such a hack. Literally just like a little bit of pesto on your eggs makes it taste so good. Mm -mm. Did some YouTube editing and it had my 2023 annual check-in with my manager where we kind of went over all the things that happened last year and that felt great and it's now 3 p.m. and I'm starving I'm so hungry and thankfully we have some leftovers from yesterday dinner that's the pros to cooking double and having more for the next day here are our leftovers delicious ready to rock some of this squash I'm gonna warm this up in the microwave. Okay, here we have our little lunch bowl. Et voila! So good. It is, what time is it? It's 7.45 now. I've spent all afternoon editing for YouTube and I posted a video on my Instagram, which I'm excited about. It was a cute little reel about seeing your body as more than just a body and just realizing that your body is the least interesting thing about you. So really proud of that. Pedro asked me if I'd be down to go out to eat and there's this amazing taco place near our apartment that we are obsessed with and I'm so excited because we're gonna go there to have dinner. It's a little midweek date night, a little Wednesday night date night. It will be lovely and I'll bring you guys along. So we're getting ready to go now. It is minus five Celsius outside. So it's so cold. That was gonna be really cold. Bundled up and ready to go. Also, I forgot to tell you guys this morning, but my arms have been so sore all day today from yesterday's arm workout. So I can only imagine how my legs are gonna feel tomorrow because today's workout was even harder than yesterday. another day to show up for some healthy habits i feel like i'm already in such a good flow with everything so i just did like my morning gua sha my oral care all of that change into my workout outfit for the day things are flowing now i'm going to make myself a little matcha do my journal and meditation and hope to be in the gym in like 30 minutes i am also so freaking sore from yesterday my booty booty is so sore and the back of my legs as well so that's what i'm saying like these form workouts they're so effective like they're so good and it's just 30 minutes so you really get your time's worth for sure time for matcha i'm also gonna have a banana this morning because i got so hungry midway through my workout yesterday so i just want to make sure that i'm like Properly nourished. Probably we'll just have half them. Before I go journal, something I wanted to share with you guys because I just checked. I have been using the Aura Ring. It connects with an app on your phone and I use it to track my cycle, but it also tracks like, three different scores that you get every single day. So a readiness score, a sleep score, and an activity score. And I have been getting triple star days every single day for this whole week. This was yesterday. This was the day before. This was the day before. Like, wowza, killing it. And that is like, such a good indicator that I'm 
taking really good care of my body and that these habits are working their magic and I think the biggest difference in this readiness score is going to bed earlier and what's helped me with that is I've been taking my magnesium every single day but I also have just been getting into bed earlier around like 9 30 or 10 and been reading my book I'm reading the Court of Thorns and Roses series I'm on book number two so it's Court of Mist and Fury and I just get so excited every night to like finish my workday so that I can go read this book and whenever I start catching myself getting tired I just go to sleep that's been having such a good result in my body so I wanted to share that win with you guys and inspire you to go to bed earlier hopefully <laughs> i've struggled with this for so long and it's one of my biggest goals that i even wrote in my journaling session and put in my vision board so we're taking action in alignment with what we want and i'm proud of that time to meditate and we're doing foundation stay Breakfast is ready. Made some peanut butter and jelly inspired oats today. I'm so excited. My timing was impeccable this morning. Workout was so good. I showered, washed my hair, which always feels incredible. I'm having my oats now. I have a coaching call in six minutes. So I'm gonna eat this quickly and then chat with my client, which will be wonderful, I'm sure. Mmm, wow, that's really good. Perfect combination of berries. And peanut butter. Hi friends. <laughs> it's 2 p.m. and we're gonna make lunch. I had my coaching call. I was working on a brand deal that I just submitted. And for lunch today, we're gonna do some chicken, Brussels sprouts in the air fryer, and then I'm gonna make some crispy kale and some roasted carrots in the oven. It's gonna be delicious. Pedro is on Brussels sprouts duty, and then I'm gonna make or prep the kale and the carrots, and then when they're in the oven, then I will make the chicken. About this meal also my hair is looking good it's a good hair day nothing like a hair wash day my face tanner is also sinking in so i'm feeling confident feeling very happy and i'm so excited about this meal look at those colors look at those colors wowza i'm so excited to try this perfection let's give this a taste test the brussels sprouts are so good they're perfectly 
crispy. You did such a good job. Pedro is the master of the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna give this a nice bite with a little bit of everything. I'm gonna put some carrot in there as well. Some kale, carrot, chicken, hummus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. Just spent so many hours, like probably three hours doing stuff for our wedding. Had a call with my mom and Pedro's mom and we coordinated a bunch of things and just kind of touched base on it because we hadn't done anything since December. Booked some appointments to go try on some gowns. My mom is coming to New York in like a week and a half to go with me. So we were figuring all of that out and now it's 8.15 and I am freaking starving. <laughs> protein at lunch so making a bunch of chicken is that this ended up being a 15 minute dinner which is so awesome it looks so good so easy the pesto made it so flavorful and delicious and i'm so excited to try it i'm gonna do a little live taste test it's very good truly chef's kiss and such a nourishing warming meal perfect for the winter dinner was incredible 9 30 we're gonna make our little pink drink, nighttime magnesium drink, and then we're gonna get in bed. I'm gonna read my book. I wake up and I'm excited to go to sleep so that I can go read my book in bed. I'm using the magnesium from Moon Juice. It tastes like raspberry jello. Yeah, it kind of does actually. Mm -hmm. Tastes like raspberry jello as Pedro said. greens this morning that mind right sent to me and it has a pina colada flavor it's so good it's very refreshing it's not very grainy it's honestly my favorite greens powders now i've tried quite a lot of them and i really like the huel one i think the ag1 is pretty good but this is honestly really nice i'm gonna sip on my greens i'm gonna drink some matcha do my journal and meditation and then i'm off to the gym looking divine you can take a meal that's cold like yogurt 
and then make it more warming by adding fruit that you cook in the stove top cinnamon and it turns out so perfect so let's do a little quick taste test <laughs> wow wow you guys have to try this it's the exact it's the exact flavor combination that i was going for and it turned out so perfect it's time for lunch and and i'm just gonna do a little leftover situation because we have quite a few things left over from yesterday and i'm just like needing something in my system to fuel me so i can keep working i'm doing a lot of editing today it's hard to focus when i'm hungry so i'm just gonna heat something up What a gorgeous healthy meal made in two minutes and i'm so excited to eat this because all of these things turned out so good it is friday evening and i just wanted to take a quick moment in this video to share with you guys my top tips on how to get back into routine based on everything that i learned this week and if you're someone who's trying to get back into routine hopefully these seven tips will leave you with something tangible to implement and to try out for yourself so you can feel amazing okay number one is list it out just take a piece of paper and write out all of the things Things that you want to get back into doing what are the self-care habits that feel important to you and as you guys saw I did that early in the week when I took my journal and I was doing my intention setting for 2024 and I got really really clear on the habits that felt important to me so that five most important habits for me that I've implemented this week were moving my body consistently getting back into journaling getting back into meditation going to bed earlier and getting enough sleep and then staying hydrated and then throughout the week I also started adding in little micro habits that I wanted to do like drinking more matcha and hot tea instead of coffee doing my gua sha doing my skincare reading before bed or drinking greens in the morning like all of those things were bonuses that I added in and number two kind of ties in with number one which is be really intentional figure out what habits work for you what habits do you want to have what works well within your schedule and your lifestyle like what feels feasible and doable for you because at the end of the day we're all different and so what works for me might not be exactly what works for you and what fits with your schedule your workload come from a place of this is what works best for me and also be realistic because that's what really matters at the end of the day okay number three is one thing at a time one day at a time that's the best thing you can do for yourself when you're getting back into healthy habits and you might have noticed that I did that throughout the week so first I started just by getting back into cooking which was even before I started recording this video as the week progressed I first started working out again and then the next day was when I started adding meditation and journaling take it one day at a time don't put pressure on yourself to change up your whole life in one day because you're probably gonna overwhelm yourself if you do that and then you're not gonna feel excited to do it it's gonna feel scary and it's just gonna be harder for you to show up for it okay number four is make it fun so that you actually look forward to doing it if you want to get back into working out find movement that you actually enjoy or make a playlist that you love and that motivates you while you're working out or as you are journaling make it a vibe right like I bring my little matcha and my greens with me and I drink that while I'm journaling and it feels so much more fun but I also put some jazz music while I'm journaling find little ways to spice it up number five is create structures that just help you remember to do the habits that you want to do some examples that I did this week I decided to do the January jumpstart program from the form app which I know is 30 minutes every single day easy to add in all I have to do is open the app see what workout I have to do and follow it I don't have any mental fatigue I don't have to think too much about it i just have to do it same thing with the balance app right they have the foundations plan and then they have all these different kinds of skills that you can develop and all you have to do is decide if you want to do three five or ten minutes open the app and do it and then i also did the same thing with my journaling when i came up with those four prompts based on the stoicism video that i watched and giving myself a little structure with the journal prompts just makes it so easy for me to know what i'm gonna do in the morning it takes 10 minutes and i know what to expect number six slot it with something that you already do this is really helpful for a little micro habits for example i know that i brush my teeth every morning so i just do my gua sha after i brush my teeth every day and last but not least number seven is no more perfectionism when you try to be perfect you put 
so much pressure on yourself and you fall to the zero or 100 mindset where it's like I either have to do everything perfectly and if I don't do it perfectly it's terrible and why even bother so instead be kind to yourself be compassionate remember that every day is gonna be a little bit different some days are gonna be busier than others and it's okay if you don't show up for every single habit every single day it's always better for you to do one habit or a couple of the habits than to do none of them just keep showing up and recommitting every single day okay I hope that was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed following along this week in my life that it motivated you that it made you feel excited to connect with healthy habits drop down in the comments what's something you're taking away from from the video or a habit that you're excited to implement in 2024 or just how the video made you feel what you guys thought and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel let's be youtube friends hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys next week with another video i love you all so much and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day Mwah.